Welcome back everyone. This is the IWC Yacht Club, reference number 811 AD. This is one of the first classic dive watches of IWC, and we are going to review it. During the late 1960s, IWC released their first ever dive watch called the Aqua Timer, with the reference number 812 AD. It had a water resistance of up to 650 feet, which is about 200 meters. It had two crowns on the right side of the case, which the other for time and the other one for the inner bezel. Looking at the IWC Aqua Timer, which was released specifically in 1967, it has a unique look as compared to other dive watches during its time. The bezel insert can be turned uh, using a crown instead of the usual outside bezel. Okay, so this one we have right here is the Yacht Club, which is a sportier alternative to the Aqua Timer, and it was also released during uh, the 1967-68 time, and it is a very popular watch, which during the 1976, it had a line expanded, uh, which is called the Club Lines of Watches. So this one is a blue dial, or indigo dial, with the 36mm stainless steel case. I'll just show you real quick. It is a small watch, yeah, 36. The thickness on this one is 12.32. The lug to lug is 44, and the lug width is 18. Okay. So it's a very slim profile watch, and it has the C-shaped case, which is very common during this time, which I also have one right here. This is a Seiko. Let me just show you real quick because, well, it's not really that similar, but you get my point here. This is a 7019-7060. It's a beautiful Seiko 5 Actus. Seiko was not far, actually. Okay, so this is just a beautiful, simple watch. I mean, Omega Constellations, I believe, have this case shape too. It's a very common case shape, and I like it. I like the sharp finish at the edge there. It looks so beautiful. Unfortunately, this one does not have the sign crown with a fish on it. it was probably replaced, but otherwise everything is original. Even the movement, which is an 8541B, which is a legendary movement for IWC. It has a 25 jewels, a power reserve for 4 to 4 hours. It has a frequency of 19,800 vibrations per hour. So it's not the most smooth uh, sweeping hand. Now, as the name suggests, Yacht Club, it is uh, specifically aimed for sportsmen who sailed into adventure on yachts. Uh, this specific model we have right here, I believe is a 1969 model because as you can see the Yacht Club name there and the automatic, it has a very little gap between them. Usually Yacht Club IWC watch like this has a gap between them and it's very noticeable. I only found about one or two and I believe this is an early edition of it. That's why it's a uh, stick right there. And also this only named Swiss down there. Overall, this dial is just amazing. I mean, it, it plays with light a lot, especially on natural daylight. I wish the crystal was clear. I don't know if I can polish that or not, but uh, so far there's nothing deep that I wanted to be polished. I don't believe I would want to dive with this because just because it's not a screw down crown, it's not a screw down crown, it's a pull and push. So I'm not really trusting it if I am ever going to dive with it. And the case back is a screw down case back. The bracelet on this one is also has IWC on it. You can see there. There we go. A 36 millimeter yacht club on my 6.5 inch wrist. Very beautifully made this watch i mean the shape is just it can mesh with any type of wrist i mean it's a classic there's some iwcs uh, that have no loom on the hands this one has but it's it's basically non-existent if i ever put a light on it because it's so faded already the only downside is those uh, mini track right there in the sides of the dial are kind of faded already but overall this watch is just an amazing classic watch i mean you're not gonna see this from iwc anymore usually they their best sellers are the pilot watches that they have which are phenomenal but this one is the history of iwc what they were before and the difference that what they have now it's just phenomenal to see an old watch and you never get to see it again 
well besides the gray market of course but now it's more like a dress watch that is just unique in every single way i like the markers i like the simplicity of it okay so i'm not really an expert when it comes to swiss watches because i mostly have japanese watches but uh, at least i'm trying to give you more and more info about uh, swiss watches right here because the vintage market is the one that you know, I can afford personally. I mean, uh, the new Swiss watches are great, but I just believe that their quality is not as far as the Japanese or even as superior as them because I just believe that vintage watches are the way to go if you want to go collecting. It's just that you cannot really uh, use them as they are intended to be. Uh, for example, diving or getting it wet or even the accuracy. These are tools that stood the test of time and until to this day, the movement is still impeccable as you've seen. I just love this watch. It is a 36 millimeter dress watch in today's world. So there you have it guys. That's my review, my short review of the IWC Yacht Club. I'll see you soon. Stay safe.